Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Soro. I am Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautifully lit, abundant, prosperous YouTube. Here on this YouTube, I enjoy doing spiritually related videos and content. If you enjoy it here, make sure you hit the subscription button down below as well as the post notification button. Get your money up, not your funny up. All right, let's get into it. We got a message for cancer. Cancer this week. All right. I feel like this is Virgo read. Hold on. Oh, I did. I did Cancer already. So this is Virgo's read. I'm gonna reshuffle for you, Virgo. You told me to reshuffle. Let's reshuffle for you. This one for Virgo. Okay, Virgo this week. Virgo this week. Okay, Virgo this week. Virgo, Virgo. What's coming out for Virgo this week? This is for Virgo. Virgo. <clears throat> okay. So you showing up this week, Virgo, with a lot of authority. It's like you got power and influence. It's could be recognition, friend circles, just who you are, period. You got a lot of, of that authority going on this week. You could be having power and control over somebody, something, a situation, how this is going to go. Your authority also um, could be blocking you for some of my uh, Virgos. Be aware of that, okay? I don't know if it's authority or what it is, but something is blocked where you're refusing to see something clearly, okay? Right now, Virgo Spirit is asking you to get some sort of balance in between your yin and yang energy here, okay? So that you can create some sort of an alignment. Your shadow self is showing up for you this week, Virgo. Solitude. Probably wanting to be alone. You could be working through sacral and root chakra at this time. Talks about karmic lessons as well for Virgo this week. Tell me more for Virgo. So they're saying appreciation and gratitude. Okay. So this could be probably very helpful in order for you to see clearly, like maybe just give thanks for what you do know and what awareness, consciousness you do have, because it's going to give you a leg up or a level up in a situation. Virgo this week. Okay, I see abundance this week. Okay, you got the fish out, so... Whatever you've been kind of your seeds this week, that being very successful for you. Also, you got out some sort of information, communication. Um, if you were waiting on some sort of news this week, give appreciation or gratitude because that's coming in for you. Okay. Some of my Virgos here. This yin and yang energy as well for some of my Virgos. Not everybody's out of alignment. Okay. Um, this yin and yang energy also represents um, proper alignment for some. Okay. Somebody's refusing to see something clearly. So maybe when this information shows up, it like proves or clarifies what you were questioning. Right. Yeah, so there's some sort of information for sure coming up this week for you, Virgo. Okay, at this time. Some sort of news confirmation. Okay, definitely we're talking about the inner child, right? Coming up, shadow self, right? That coming up for you this week, Virgo. Virgo this week. Virgo this week. I'm getting like 
something just helps you be able to see something more clearly this week. Something gives you like a clearer conscience this week, like some sort of clarity. If this isn't like actual information of, of some sort of communication coming in in another way, this could also just be like your intuition, like showing you something. Some of us here, they're saying give thanks for where you are. Okay, truly. We have our marriage this week for Virgo as well. We have our marriage this week for Virgo. You could be thinking about this. Maybe you've been talking about this, considering this. There is somebody very significant in the eyes of the person that you want to marry. This person could have many of options, I'm hearing, for some of my Virgos. Maybe you work in the same profession or the same field as the other person that this person has eyes on. This is just my intuition. This could be somebody that's in prison for Virgo. This week, Virgo. We have out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this week's service, growth, and gratitude. I feel like Virgo, if there is like, it's like may the best person win. It's kind of like this week is saying for you, growth, service, gratitude. It's like give thanks for knowing the people that you know, being in the circle that you in. Give thanks for where you are personally. Okay, a decision that you'll make this week or have been making, right, concerning a particular situation where you might see, be betrayed, okay, unable to see clearly in a situation, okay, be able to see clearly and just give gratitude, okay, expand your consciousness and your awareness, there's some sort of service that you'll be able to contribute, that makes you top dog, in my eyes is what they telling me, in all honesty, that's what they're telling me, okay, for you, Virgo. So some of you guys might feel slighted, like somebody else is getting what you wanted. But that's not really the case is what I'm getting. You might be in denial right now. And that denial could block you right now. But that's the journey that you're in right now this week for you to, your shadow showing up so you can help you, you see something, okay? So this week, um, that's really big. I feel like, you know... Look, surrender. Okay? Maybe just surrender this. What does the card say for surrender? I can release my need to control. So you want to control something. You have to release the control. If Once you release the control over the situation, what's meant to be will be. So I don't feel like you have to control the situation. It will already just be. Just period. What it needs to be. For you this week. Like don't try to force the situation. Don't try to make anything the way that you want it to be. It's going to do its own thing. Right. Releasing control could be like a thing that really comes up this week for you. Also you have a lot of gratitude. Right. Showing that appreciation. You got it on two different cards. Right. Appreciation. Gratitude. So that's going to be a big focus for uh, Virgo this week. And service. Giving back. It's like they're telling me like for you, Virgo, you might have more to give than, you know, then I feel like you you could receive something from this person that you're giving back to. But it's like you have more. So it's like you are being expected to give more. You see what I'm saying? That's the part of your your expansion because you can. You know what I'm saying? And that's that surrendering the need to control right there, you know, too, in a situation. For Virgo this week, let me get a uh, feminine message here for Virgo this week. We have out your past, present, and future are exclusive. Be pure, free yourself from such conditions, unimpeded, are elusive. Okay, I don't even know what that word means. Look it up, y'all. I could do some of the tarot reading, use y'all discernment. 
like y'all gotta do the rest of the work. <laughs> Go beyond likes and dislikes. Free yourself from attachment. You could be very attached to somebody or just the idea of someone. <clears throat> Just give gratitude for where you are right now. You know, is what I'm hearing for um, Virgo deeply this week, okay? You could also be wondering, can you trust someone? Because maybe you've been portrayed in the past. Especially by females or something like that. Because the main female did pop out. Virgo is Yeah, so you got the Six of Pentacles. So there's some some sort of generosity or something, some sort of giving back. Remember I was saying, like, you have something and you can give back through whatever it is that maybe you do for work. And you can help someone generously, vice versa even, for Virgo, right? We don't know how this could go. This could go a couple of different ways. But for Virgo, like, really keep in mind that, you know, for you this week, right, that generosity, okay, Really showing up. This week you're on a journey to learn how to trust yourself, okay? It might be difficult for you to release control because of just aspects of you and who you are, right? But this is all about that Piscean energy, you know, um, kind of just believing something, right? Knowing, right? And this week with the Six of Cups, there's definitely some some part of your past, right? Kind of coming back up, you know, your shadow self showing up, you know. Um, this week, it might feel like sacrifice this week, right? For you, for my Virgos. You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, maybe this person offers you like something. And you feel like this person, what they're offering you, you feel like they could be offering this to someone else. And you're standing up like, no. And you feel like this is sticking up for yourself, but really... This week, they're saying, just surrender. You don't have to try to control the outcome of a situation because it's going to land the way it should. And whatever way it lands, you know what I'm saying? You just navigate with what you have after that. Basically, you know, let the, uh, what are they saying? Like, let the chips fall where they're going to fall, right? Yeah, because, look, King of Cups is in reverse. That's because it's like you basically only going off of emotions, not intelligence this week. If you don't surrender control or surrender something this week, right? It keeps you trapped, okay? That's part of what you don't see, okay? With this Ten of Pentacles. Because what's meant for you will never miss you. This week too, that just represents abundance. You know, happy family, happy life. For some of my Virgos. What is a uh, service this week for... Yeah, 
So really high focus for Virgo this week on money, finances, career, even getting a new job, a new pro um like getting a second stream of income or if you whatever you want to say is an addition so if you got a second job already getting a third right um that sort of thing for virgo focus on that okay to kind of free up some energies there's a lot of release here these tens are coming out by um on purpose right This is like a spiritual abundance for those of you that were thinking like you don't have enough to give. You do. You have plenty. You have more than enough. You'll always be taken care of. You will always been, you know. Also this week for Virgo, it's like uh, moderation. Maybe it's something you're overindulging in right this week. Taking it easy on that for Virgo this week. Having like some sort of balance, gaining some sort of balance through working with your uh, root chakra, through whatever root chakra or sacral chakra things that these are, right? Yeah, because the Six of Swords talks about moving on growth and expansion, not being blocked. So even if you had a lack of perspective in the past, I feel like moving forward for you, Virgo, you gain some sort of insight some maturity okay and that that's why that first card popped out is what gives you the true authority this week with the phoenix it's gonna change your situation so don't think that it's gonna it won't pay off is what i'm getting is why you might be hesitant because you think it won't there's no reward for this because there is i'm here to tell you all right. Yeah. Queen of Wands. I'm trying to tell you. It could be a fire sign that you're competing with. So like the other main female could be a fire sign. I'm getting that. They keep telling me that through this message too for you, Virgo. Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo. I want to confirm what um, service, gratitude, and growth is for you this week. Virgo, let's go ahead and confirm what that is for you. What is the service card about for Virgo this week? What is service? What is service? So this week, service is like being honest with yourself, Scorpio. So this could definitely be, you know, your shadow self showing up. I hear some of you got Scorpio in your charts. And like Scorpio, which is relationships, you know, heavy on that, you know. So that's going to be definitely coming up this week for you. Okay. That yin and that yang, that balance of relationships. You know, the first relationship with the self, right? The yin and the yang. The very first relationship, right? So it's going back to that for you this week. Virgo. Tell me. Okay. Wow. And see, with that, you're attracting in something. So if you were looking for love, that's here for you. Don't think that. So even if that opportunity say. This person, you had your eyes on one person, for example. They gave me that specifically for you, Virgo, but I'm just saying, if that's not your situation, right? Because of every Virgo that won't be the situation, that may not be the, the situation. You see what I'm saying? So maybe it could just be like, okay, maybe that person wasn't the one for you, and Spirit is trying to show you that that wasn't the one for you, but this one is like somebody else. Is There's a replacement because they're saying expansion. So you're being narrow minded and thinking that this is the only person, the only thing, the only option, and it isn't. You see what I'm saying? You've expanded. That means in finance, uh, career, all of these things. So in family, in all of these things, you know what I'm saying? So obviously, option wise, too, that's going to be an expansion for you, you know, just period. 
Okay, and that's on Venus. That's on Venus. Period. Tell me about gratitude. Wow, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. So this week, really, you know, gratitude, that's really what's needed from you, okay? Ten Cups. That's your family things coming in for you. If you can show gratitude and be thankful for where you are this week, for the most part, gratitude is what they're saying, Virgo. Okay, gratitude also is saying it's coming with a tower. Your gratitude this week is coming with a tower. But look at how it showed up. Look at how it fucking showed up. The tower is meaning, okay, something's going to shake up. Something's going to get to where you might not know. And this is telling you to trust your intuition and trust what you know. The universe is always supporting you any other time. Why would anything change? So just know that if you're working and operating from that sacral and root chakra, that's a very lower, it's much lower vibration. So it's basically telling you like, okay, you're going to face some dark times. You're going to face a tough, difficult moment or spot, but it's all in how you navigate through it, right? So where you can find that sort of um, gratitude that helps you rise. And then some sort of blessing comes out of that. This is that Phoenix energy. You know, like a miracle type of energy, right? Out of nothing, a phoenix rises. So maybe an option being taken off of the table. And then something being created still on your behalf this week. I'm getting for my Virgos. You see what I'm saying? Pay attention, Virgo. I'm trying to tell you, don't get lost in escapism. I already said that about you earlier. I said it's escapism. It's something you're escaping into right now. That could be a thing because it's like you're trying to keep your mind off of something. Okay. Tell me about growth. I'm going to put this down here with growth. That's a big part of where you need to grow from. Okay, Virgo. There was something that you definitely been over abusing, over indulging in. Okay. And there needs to be more expansion and celebration. Like there's room for everybody to eat at the table. Three of cups. Okay. Because you've worked on yourself so tremendously for some of my Virgos, I need you to know that, you know, good things are coming to you. And it's expansion in family, friends, career, every sense of the word, every aspect that you could think of expansion in is there for you, Virgo. Okay, I need you to know that. Tell me what this growth is about. Yeah, look at the two of cups. Didn't I tell you somebody is coming in? Growth, expansion. This I'm clarifying right now the growth card. Virgo, darn it, <laughs> darn it, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm getting for Virgo, this growth card, let me get one for surrender, what is the surrender about, what is the surrender about for Virgo this week, what is the surrender about, what will you be surrendering, what is the surrender about? Okay, so you got out the nine of wands. You got to surrender this guard that you got. You got up a guard of defense when you don't need to. You need to be relaxed and look at that shit. You need to pull back your guard. Like, be why is because you said, you, remember I said earlier I was trying to get into the message and I jumped somewhere else. Anyways, um, <clears throat> you've been working so diligently, so hard on yourself. You've forgotten that. You actually literally like created these opportunities. You, some of you Virgos could already have been creating something in your mind that's now turning into something bigger, expanding right before your eyes on a larger level. Okay. And I feel like with this surrender, they're saying, you know, it, you're, it's like you're trying to expand and grow, right? So you need to surrender right now anything that blocks you from expanding. If you're expanding out, you don't build a fence, right? You get what I'm saying? So there's that for you this week, Virgo. I love you so much on the next one. Peace.